Although they were idolized as cathedral-like symbols of power and triumph that pierced the New York skyline, the Twin Towers were big money losers for the Port Authority of New York. They cost millions a year to equip with the basics, electricity, water, heat, air conditioning, sewage, and even oxygen, being airtight. As modern communications connected traders from all corners of the globe, tenancy in the Twin Towers continued to drop. The towers presented another problem. Decades ago, their steel beams had been sprayed with fireproof asbestos, a cancer-causing material banned from use in building in the mid-1980s. Although the World Trade Center complex was given several waivers, it was expected to clean up its act. But to remove the asbestos from every supporting beam in the Twin Towers would have been almost undoable. Quotes for this cleanup ran over a billion, and no insurance company was willing to bear the cost. An urban renewal project of unfathomable proportions. Given the tower's issues and problems, September 11th proved an unexpected bonanza. The Trade Center was built in the 1960s to revive a rundown area of New York, and 40 years later, urban renewal could again take place. Two white elephants were removed, and a brand new complex is in the works. The full height of the new Freedom Tower will soar to 1,776 feet. The suffocating dust that engulfed Manhattan was much more than dust. It was pulverized concrete, glass, metals, containing lead, mercury, dioxins, benzene, and of course, asbestos. None of that was healthy for any living thing. Today, thousands of rescue workers have developed lung cancer and serious permanent health conditions. And the rescue dogs continue to die. What you had was a ground-level municipal incinerator that smoldered for months, burning up the most heavily computerized building in the world. Patients have had black paste coming out of their pores. They have reported bowel movements that are blue or green and have smelled like smoke, despite the fact that they have not been at a fire scene for months. Only three days after September 11th, Washington instructed the EPA to declare Manhattan safe and reopen Wall Street, though the air remained toxic. 